interview question for an experienced salesforce developer so let's move on to the first question and the first question says that what is proof key for code exchange or we can also call it as pkce now this pkce you can surely see inside the name credentials i think so you know in auth products you can see it and even inside the connected apps you can check out this pkc you can find out this term pkce as uh, that is called as proof key for code exchange and basically the use of this pkc is that let's say there is some external system okay and there is salesforce now the external system is the one who is going to start the flow of the overall exe like for an example external system will make a call out to salesforce and it's going to pull the data from salesforce to the external system so external system is the one to initiate the overall execution right over here in such cases we have to make sure the system the external system that starts the flow is the one who ends it right we have to ensure the external system that has started the flow is the one who ends this particular flow and for this to ensure this like the system that starts the flow is the one who ex ends this flow for this purpose we use pkce or also called as proof key for code exchange let's move on to the next question that is what does this identity type as name principal means inside the name credentials so now if i go to name credentials right now and if i try to create a name credential right now and if i check this yeah identity type <clears throat> there are three identity types and what does usually i see people keeping it as uh, keeping it as a name principal <clears throat> now what is the use of this name principal why do we keep it as name principal so what happens is when you are doing an integration right when you are doing an integration let's say for, with salesforce to external system right then in that cases like you are uh, like you are uh, putting the data to the external system or you are pulling the data from the external system in that cases what happens is that you cannot directly go and fetch the data from external system okay let's say there is a particular user okay and this user is only able to access the resources of this system even he needs to login okay he has a web login page okay he will put username and password and only then he can access the resources from external system so if he needs to user and log username and password even salesforce will need username and password right and this username and password you can set for like uh, you can set different username and password for different user who are trying to access the resources from external system now if you want to use the same sets of credentials same sets of username and password to access the resources from external system or we can say a universal sets of credentials which yeah, the salesforce is going to use to access the resources from say, uh, external system in that cases you keep the identity type as name principal name principal basically means that same sets of credentials will be applicable to the people who are trying to access the resources from the external system now before moving to the next question if you are appearing for any of the interview you can schedule a call with me and have a mock interview with me so that you can become more confident in your next interview so let's move on to the next question and the next question says that how do you enforce how do we enforce an object level security or even field level security while doing an integration so of course an integration let's say uh, any kind of integration you are doing in that case let's say this external system is trying to access the resources from salesforce now you have to make sure that whatever resources it is accessing okay we are providing the object level security like for an example he has access to four fields and he does not have access to four fields of account object let's say account object right so what we are going to do is we are going to create a profile we can name it as external user i am just giving you a solution okay there can be multiple solutions for this we can create a profile okay and uh, in that profile we will give uh, required permissions whatever required permissions we want and we will assign that permission or assign that profile to a particular user okay that will be our dummy user and this will be the user from which what we are going to do is we are going to uh, create the client key and client secret for this user and we are going to share the same client key and client secret of this user to the external system and then external system is going to access the resources on the user on the behalf of this user and along with that while querying the records from salesforce we are going to use with security enforce keywords so what it's going to do is it's going to apply the security for this particular user who has specific accesses and we are trying to access the resources of salesforce even as this user right and that's the reason why automatically an object level or field level security will get applicable over here so this was all the interview questions that i had to discuss in the in this video thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel